So we're going to have to um, ask each other questions. Okay. Well, you're not even that big. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're live. Know. Are we live? No. So. Wait, I don't think I need yeah, to Yeah, there we that. are. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> we are live. We're in uh, Palm Springs. And I'm with my girlies. Hi. My beautiful guest girls. Oh, yeah. How do we tie your socks? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yourself. Anybody know so you do guys it? can do I comment? My babes. Yeah, yeah, comment and then turn it. Hi, I'm gonna go up my nose in order to tack myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go at the ceiling. At Natalie underscore pack. No, just regular. Oh my god, like that. P A C K. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, then you can pin by holding it down. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right. Boom. So now you can go follow my babes. Their Instagrams are right there. So we have That's a couple hours cool. before our dinner. Our dinner. And we decided to do a live just to, so you guys can kind of see what we're doing, like when we don't do anything. We yeah. just hang out and gossip. We just talk, talk about it really. Drink coffee. Get our robes. Oh, yeah. Be cozy. We're super chill. Stay comfy. comfy. Get out of the heels. <laughs> it's like yeah. the same thing. We were talking about earlier, guests kept trying to, they would film us. We'd all be talking and they're like, okay, we're going to film a video. Just act natural and talk. And then as soon as they did, we couldn't act natural. We're we just like, talk. Uh, and it feels the same. Like, we were like talking so much and now we've been on live video and it's like. Now we're like, uh, okay. Well, I think well, we should hear about what we were talking about before because I thought it was really important. Some, you know, yeah. I think a lot of your followers might be people that are models or people in the industry or girls that are thinking about getting guys that are thinking about getting into modeling. And we were kind of giving our, each other advice in the industry and what's really helped us, what's given us a level head, what's given us a leg up on things. And I think that's just kind of interesting stuff to learn about. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just telling my story and hearing their stories about how when we started modeling and what the journey has been and you know it's kind of cool because we've all been working so hard at this and um just sharing stories how it was really hard at first for mm -hmm. me anyways like i all the agencies said no and you're too short you're too this you're too that and i just really worked hard and i didn't give up and like hard work eventually pays off so i guess my advice would be never give up and absolutely yeah always believe in yourself you yeah know, even sure. when no one else does we're also talking about just like how the underdog, like we've all been in a place where we're on a shoot or we're on a job and there have been people there that try to make you feel like you're not as important as other people working. Mm -hmm. And so we're just thinking it's such a good lesson, like regardless to what level you think you're on or what level you are on, to just always be nice to everyone you're working with or everyone yeah. you're not working with, just everyone around you in general. Because we've all been there and it really sucks to be that person that to feel like you're, left you're, out or, you don't have the worth as other people on set, it yeah. sucks. Um, and and then, to everyone that's like, you know, following girls and they see them on Instagram and just think like, oh, this girl's so lucky, like look how many followers she has and has this perfect life and like, it's we not, all have the same struggles. Yeah, it's not <laughs> as beautiful so. as it looks. Let's just put that out there. There's yes. a lot of editing, there's a lot of um, post work that goes into shoes, there's a lot of prep. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. just lighting candles in the background, like we were talking about earlier. And, like, setting, like, we all have to sit in a certain order. If a blonde and brunette are together, they're like, oh, let's put another blonde on this side. But it's not real life, so. Yeah. For Everything sure. you see is not realistic. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think it's super important to know that a lot of the times people in the industry get really wrapped up with this idea of perfection and wanting to be, you know, what, what the girl with the most following is posting, to wanting to be like that, copying her, trying to emulate her in every sense and losing sight of themselves. I think the more you stay true to yourself, the, the kinder you are, the happier you are. Those, those are clients. I've beaten girls that have way bigger Instagram followings than me or have booked bigger campaigns than I have just because I'm just, you know, I try and always be grateful on set. I try and always be gracious on set. And I think those are I'm really, laughing really good. Because you're such a good speaker. It's like a public service. <laughs> 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 no, like, like, <laughs> no, it's so true. And that's why, I, like, coming on... We're here with a bunch of guest girls, and like it can be intimidating for anyone. But I have to mm -hmm. say, 
um, you know, both these girls here have been so kind and so sweet, and I think that's why I've gotten along so well on this trip, and, and I think that's kind of the way to do it, just be nice to people around you, and with good energy comes good things, so... There's nothing attractive about being bitchy. No, not, not at all. Not at all. And I, I really have to say that not many bitchy girls make it. And if they do, it's like not going to be long-lasting career. That's so like. true. It's also one of those things where I feel like we've all had, I don't know, a time where we meet someone who seemingly like looks gorgeous or seems gorgeous online, and then they have a bitchy attitude, <laughs> and like physically they look less attractive to you. you yeah, know, you start yeah, to so true. All their flaws. Yeah, and just same like, with, like with somebody guys shows too. you a girl or a guy, and they're like, "Aren't they so attractive?" And you're like, "No, I don't see it." And then you meet them, and they have the best personality, and you're like, "Whoa, they are so much, like their face." Or you start seeing their you. smile more, and you're like, "Yeah, wow, yeah. you start so noticing nice and so pretty all the attractive things about them." Yeah, and then there's those people who. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I'm <laughs> and have bad personalities. Just okay. have good personalities. <laughs> Moral <of the> story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now story. let's get down into some Comments. Of the fun Boobs. Boobs. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You guys should sing. <laughs> and what should we sing? Jingle Bells. Christmas Carol? Oh, yeah. Which, what is the one that we were singing in the car? To baby. A 54 convertible. Oh, get away. Line blue. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, you're actually really good singer. I am not. Like, damn, I'm not even going to try. I know, I was going to until she starts singing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the comments so high? I don't know. Oh, over her face. Yeah. Okay, wait, so I'm going to ask the girls questions. And you guys can feel free to just join in and ask questions too. And we can ask each other. Yes. So I'm going to start with, we were actually talking about this earlier. If you were a spice, what spice would you be? <laughs> and you have to say what spice you would be and why. And why. <laughs> I love games. Like and feel free to answer your question. Yeah, too. okay. I want to hear your answer. So, whatever spice you think, just put her name and the spice. Yeah, what we'll spice. Read. Wait, what spice they think we are? Yeah, but then we're going to say for each other. Okay. okay. So, what spice do they think each of us would be if we were a spice? Yeah, okay, so... We all decided earlier that you would be cinnamon. I'd be cinnamon. Because yeah. she... Sweet like, and spicy. I like it. It's totally you. <laughs> and we said we we said something that wasn't a spice earlier for me, but I... But we can just go ahead and say it. Lavender. lavender. I mean, it can spice spice season. I feel like, yeah, you're very lavender. Like, a lavender is comforting and, like... And smells kind. great and gentle. Oh, yeah, she smells great. Oh, like <laughs> <dry candles. laughs> okay, enjoy you are. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about that earlier. What's like a cute vanilla bean? Yes, you are vanilla bean. Vanilla bean? Yeah. I, I love vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. Really? Do you? You're like yeah. cute. I knew it. Sweet and really light. <laughs> and can't it. dance. <laughs> You're super really vanilla. Let's see. Okay, but it's spray tan for sure. They said. Yeah, let's... Okay. Ginger. Salt. <laughs> salt. Salt. That's a good one. I actually love salt. Everything salty is delicious. Oh, so what was your favorite thing to do? Salty yeah. and sweet together is the best. Gorn spice. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Kelly. Kara? Yeah. If you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? If I could be anywhere in the world? Okay, well, I don't like to say that I would like to be somewhere other than where I am because I think that, like... Everything serves a purpose and everything happens for a reason. I never have any regrets, so I want to be right here doing this. But as far as just like a location that I really want to go, mm -hmm. it's always either I just want to be home with my parents. That's like my favorite Me place too. to be. Yeah, or I want to be right now, I really want to go to the Maldives because they're stinking. Wait, your head's on. And I'm not going to be able to like get go there. And get we got all going to squeeze in. Maybe we should back up the camera so we don't have to be yes. so good. Okay, you guys. We're gonna pretend. There we go. There oh, we, we go. So yeah, we're really looking at Maldives. Maldives. Maldives I've actually pretzels. never been. There's the king, so if you don't go soon, you can't be in them. I mean, you can't go. So is Miami Beach, though. Is sinking. Mm -hmm. I've been there, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I actually just came from there, so I'm good. <laughs> okay, I would say. Well, you answer what? first. Um. I mean, that's so cheesy, but yeah, right here, honestly, I feel like 
everything happens for a reason, and I'm really happy I'm here. I'm really happy I met you girls. Mm-hmm. And we all just yeah. met. I mean, not we all just met, but we just met Joy. yesterday. Yesterday. Oh my god, that's so weird. It feels like we've known each other like a week. We've now. spent yeah. a yeah. lot of time together. <laughs> I know. Though, it's it's the last two We're like, hi, I met you yesterday. <laughs> We're like, basically having a slumber party on the <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, in this industry, though, I feel like we've known of each other. Yeah. Like, as far as like. Yeah. Instagram and having friends in common and like shooting with the same photographers. Mm-hmm. It's like almost so like you already know each, each other. Right away because mm-hmm. we have so many similar stories and people and so yeah. Talk and about like right we've away. seen each other a bunch, so we almost feel like we've known each other in a way. But so true. Yes. Yeah. So either we will click or won't click right away. I feel like that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Um, um, what about you? Where would you? Uh, I would have to say. Thanks. There's a place in the Bahamas that we go, and I think it's just the most incredible place. At night, right at this time right now, you'd be able to look up and see, I mean, it just, it looks like a different, different world. You see so many stars, because there's just no air pollution, there's no clouds, it's just beautiful. I'd be there right now, if I could be anywhere. Um, have you been to Harbor Island? I haven't been to Harbor Island, no. With Where pink is sand. Harbor? Oh, in Bahamas. It's in the Bahamas. It has pink sand. Yeah, we just went on a... Um, oh, yeah, I've heard about it. The Bahamas, and I really, really liked it. Okay, let's ask, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> okay, you go first. We have to pick her animal. I think she'd I be a bunny. A cute little bunny. Me? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say I'd either be... Like a super spoiled, someone super spoiled, fat pug dog. Or <laughs> totally. Or I would be like their super beloved, just fat chunky pug that they just think is the best thing in the world. <laughs> or I want to be a lion. Oh, somebody said a tiger. A tiger. Oh, that's a good one. I would definitely be like a bald eagle or something. Really, like, that's so interesting. Soaring fly. Yeah. I think you would definitely be a giraffe too, because she's really tall <laughs> yeah. oh, and skinny. Oh, have you seen? I feel like you would definitely place. be a bunny. A bunny? Yeah, a bunny. Definitely bunny. Like, like a little kid bunny. bunny or something. Okay, I cool. could be a bunny. I'm a Leo though, so I feel like I don't know, I want to be a lion. But Somebody yeah. says, mm-hmm. "Are one of you vegan?" Uh, so I basically eat the most plant-based diet, but I do eat fish. Um, but I'm basically vegan. What about you? I'm. Pretty much the opposite. I'm paleo, so I eat all types of meat. But I don't only eat meat, which is a major misconception when it comes to paleo eaters. I eat, I can eat pizza, I can eat brownies. You just make them all paleo friendly. So isn't it just like going back into like how we used to eat in the Stone Age kind of thing? Exactly. You're Mm -hmm. eating foods that our body has been evolved to digest. Yeah, so that's, I, I feel like that's actually one of the healthiest diets. I, I think it is. And and I, would, I would be that, I would be paleo if I could eat meat, but I just, there's a weird thing about eating meat, because I grew up on a farm with a lot of animals, that I just no, like yeah. have this mental block for it. Shoot where you have like a hundred looks. Of-